Hey, how's it going guys? Kurf here, bringing you guys my first commentary, first video in the past four months or five months. You guys probably thought I was either dead, quit YouTube, quit Call of Duty, but in general, I just took a break. I said I was going to quit it, said I was going to quit competitive gaming because I was getting really into sports and, you know, school, drop the controller, drop the mic, hit school and play some sports, but, you know, over that time when Call of Duty Ghost first came out, I really didn't enjoy what I was doing on YouTube. I spent way too much time on it and I was basically addicted to Call of Duty and I just didn't like it. I played it way too much. I uh, didn't take time on sports, didn't take time on school, did really bad at school. I'm not saying I'm doing the best right now. I'm not the smartest Marty in the Smarty Box, if you know what I'm saying. Stumbling my words there. But um, anyways, yeah, so I just wasn't really happy with what I was doing. So I decided to take a break, you know, overlook a few things. And for the past four months, I've just been having some fun, playing some sports, uh, doing well in school, and then over the past month, you know, I was just watching some YouTube videos. I was like, I used to really enjoy this, and the only problem was I didn't monitor it. I tried to post every single day, and I cut out a lot of things. I cut out family time, like going to family dinners. I cut out tons of stuff, sports, soccer games, uh, opportunities, and I really look back on that as a bad thing. And I'm like, you know, Call of Duty took over my life, so the main thing I'm going to do is in the next month, this is me talking like a long time ago in the next month I was thinking I okay I'm gonna post a video talking about what I'm talking about right now basically saying why I quit Call of Duty I'm gonna get back into YouTube but the one thing I'm gonna make a promise to myself for getting back into YouTube is I'm not gonna go try hard and you know um, call in fake sick days and make commentaries make YouTube videos do all that kind of stuff skip sports skip opportunities just don't get addicted back into the whole internet thing every single day having to check your phone 24 7 that's what the whole four months break for me from youtube was like it was just trying to get back into the rhythm of regular life not doing youtube constantly 24 7 and thinking about it 24 7 so really I, i'm gonna come back right now and i'm just gonna say that i'll probably try and upload every second day and if not every second day maybe every third day but if you don't see a video from me within two days it's gonna be up on the third day I'm just gonna try and post at least three videos a week I'm gonna make that my goal because I'm coming back spring breaks coming up I do want to have a good spring break but I do want to do YouTube I really want to have a fun time doing YouTube so I have a couple things I want to talk about and that is first competitive Call of Duty because you guys don't know where I'm at with that Vapa game you guys don't know where I'm at with that and um, just this channel channel in general so let's start off with the channel in general um, I Crew Bullets HD was a great name, I like it, but I talked to my network, no, not what network affiliates, what do you call them, partnering, yeah, my partnering network, and they basically said you can change your name whenever you want, I'm, so I'm kind of debating if I should go change my name, I don't really know if I should or I'm not, I'm kind of debating it because I Crew Bullets, you know, was good, but I don't really like the name anymore, it has nothing... I built a lot of subscribers on it, I built a community on it, but I really just want a new name, I want a fresh start, so I'm thinking about changing the name on this channel. I don't want to create a new channel because I have all of you guys here, and you're just awesome subscribers watching my videos, even after four months of me being gone, you're always checking out my channel for a new video, I really do appreciate that. So I might, I just kind of want to start fresh, you know, not make a new channel, but change my name, so I talked to uh, Full Screen, which is my networking partner or my basically partnership I have with YouTube. I was talking to them about changing my name and they said uh, they might be able to help me out with that. So hopefully I can, I'll still be talking to them about that. So that's basically with, with my channel and the name. But also with my channel, I really wanna stick straightly to Call of Duty gameplay because over the past, you know, two years I've been doing YouTube, I was like, ooh, let's play some Minecraft. Uh, another game, Far Cry 3. Minecraft, I already said that. I don't know, I just played a ton of games on this channel and kind of made it into a community feel channel where you're going to get lots of different series, lots of different games, played some GTA 5, and you know, I really did like doing that. I really did like playing different games, but I really want this channel to be a strictly competitive Call of Duty gaming channel due to the fact that it's just that's what I want my fans on this channel to be about. I want them to, when I upload a video, to come over and be like, oh, that was some sick plays. They know about the game, they really like it, and that they're going to really enjoy the videos. So 
if you guys are a Minecraft fan or anything like that, I'm not going to go tell you guys to unsubscribe. What I'm going to tell you to do is just um, listen over the next couple weeks because I'm going to be coming out with a video depending on the comments and what you guys say. The other fans that are on my channel that don't like Call of Duty, I'm going to listen to what you guys say and I'm going to maybe go open up a new channel, a second channel for games like Minecraft, Far Cry, Grand Theft Auto, any games that you guys want to see, Daisy, Battlefield 4. Actually, I might do a little bit of Battlefield 4, like strictly Call of Duty on this, but maybe a Battlefield 4 video once in a while and Titanfall. But on any other channels that are like uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 or any other games that are like Grand Theft Auto 5, Minecraft, I'm going to hop on and do that on a different channel. So listen over the week, guys. See, I'm going to listen to your comments in the comment section, uh, what you guys want to see and what you want me to do, open up a second channel or just stick straightly to Call of Duty. I'm happy to do both. I'd love to start up a second channel, do those games, as well as have this channel as a main Call of Duty, competitive Call of Duty channel. But that's all with my channel. You know, a lot to get off my chest. Finally breathe, you know. Just screaming into the mic, trying to throw a thousand words at you guys. Like, what the hell am I doing? Excuse my uh, front French. Oh. Oh, sometimes I just stumble on my words and it makes me mad. But anyways, let's get into my next subject. And that is plainly talking about competitive Call of Duty. So I actually uh, went out the other day and not other day, like two weeks ago, bought an Xbox One, bought Ghosts, uh, ordered A40s uh, because my other ones broke. And put in an order for a scuff controller. So actually, I'm gonna be all set up to play call, competitive Call of Duty right now. I do have my Xbox One here. It's right beside me. It's pretty awesome. I do love it. I've been playing it for the past week, no, last three weeks. I've got back into game battles, just getting warmed up, winning some matches. It's pretty fun. See here, this is actually a clan versus clan uh, game. Yeah, the basically league play on Call of Duty goes. I went 17 and three here, so did pretty well. But all I'm trying to do right now is just focus on building my channel back up as well as being really good at competitive Call of Duty so um, yeah it's basically I'm getting back into competitive Call of Duty I've been doing that for the past four weeks as well as I have ordered all the stuff I do kinda need some necessities for my gaming experience and doing good at competitive gaming but as well as I really want to get back into streaming and I really do love streaming so I, oh, I have Twitch TV I not Twitch TV I do have a Twitch account and I'm planning to open up a new one because my other one, I don't know what's with it. I think I like broke it somehow. So I'm opening up a new Twitch TV account. I'll, I'll talk about it in the next video in a couple maybe days or something like that. When spring break's a little bit closer because I do have XSplit. I've had it for a very long time. I haven't been using it for the past four months. I do have like a two-year license with it that I bought last year. So I'm pretty excited. Um, start streaming again. Uh, all later news will be up about new stuff opening, when my streams are going to be going on. You know, my schedule for uploading, I haven't really thought about that yet, but I know I'll be coming back into that. Uh, just streaming on Call of Duty, maybe streaming some DayZ on that. I like streaming, it's really fun, I do enjoy it, so uh, be prepared for that. As well as Vapa Gaming, my competitive Call of Duty clan. You guys have been probably wondering what I've been doing for the past four months with Vapa, and I really haven't done anything. I haven't talked to the co-leader. Uh, Vapa Zubby for a very long time due to the fact that last time I went on Skype was three weeks ago and Yeah, I just got bombarded by a whole bunch of messages like my video even though I used to, I did that I just got <laughs> bombarded by like a thousand Messages just saying do this do that and it was crazy So I just replied to all those and then got back into Skype So I haven't been able to uh, talk to him lately, but I will try and see what's up with Vapa. I don't know if he has Xbox One or PS4. Last time we talked, he did have the PS4, but um, yeah, so hopefully uh, with Vapa Gaming, I don't know what's going to go with that, but I do have a couple little uh, secret things coming up with uh, competitive Call of Duty and maybe a new clan or something. It's all, I, all I have to do is redo a logo uh, if uh, we were to uh, quit Vapa Gaming and start a new one. I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing with that. But I do have, I'm trying to start a clan up right now or get stuff, a basis started on a Call of, Call of Duty competitive community kind of clan where I have different teams and stuff like that. So I'm kind of still getting that all organized. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. But anyways, guys, that's what I've been thinking about for the past four or five months. That's what I've been doing. Sports, homework, getting right back into Call of Duty and commentating. So Saturday, I have work tomorrow. If I can pound out a commentary tonight, I might be able to upload a video tomorrow. I'm at my... Mom's house, so really good internet, good stuff. 
I might be hopping on Call of Duty tonight, so if you guys uh, want to talk to me or anybody wants to get a hold of me, uh, just message me, uh, Chris Tank on Xbox One, and we can play together. I don't know. I do have a PS4, but I don't have COD Ghost for that right now. I scratched it by accident, so yeah, we'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed the commentary, and I'm finally back. Thank you guys for staying who are watching this commentary right now. I'm finally back, and I'll see you guys later.